Okay, so my name is Richard Phillips and um, I'm from British Antarctic Survey and I'm going to tell you today about some of the research that um, British Antarctic Survey carry out at Bird Island at South Georgia and I'm also going to put that in the context of the threats that albatrosses face globally. So probably um, many people don't realise that uh, in fact the jewels in the crown in terms of British or UK biodiversity are actually found in the UK overseas territories and particularly um, those in the South Atlantic. So that's Tristan de Kuna and Gough and the Falklands in South Georgia. And they hold um, sometimes the only and in many cases that one of the largest populations of um, several species of albatrosses. And um, that includes Tristan albatross and Atlantic yellownose albatross that breed on um, Gough or, and or Tristan, the main island of Tristan and some of the other islands there. Blackbird albatrosses that breed in the Falkland Islands and then wandering albatrosses, blackbird albatrosses, grey-headed albatrosses, and light-mantled albatrosses that breed at South Georgia. So albatrosses are the most threatened of all groups, of all families of birds, and there's 22 species in the group, and two are listed as critically endangered, seven are listed as endangered, six as vulnerable, six as near threatened, and one as least concerned by IUCN, so that's the World Conservation Union. And um, only the old world vultures are um, have such a high proportion of threatened species within the family. But even among some of those um, species that might be um, doing reasonably well globally, um, we also have regional variation in status. So as it happens, blackbird albatross is listed as least concern globally, but at the UK islands of um, South Georgia and the South Atlantic, the population there, which is you know, was the third or fourth largest globally, is actually declining very steeply. So there's a local problem there, even though globally um, the species is doing rather well. And there are actually, at the UK overseas territories, there are a number of um, breeding populations that are listed as of global priorities for conservation by um, ACAP, which is a dedicated agreement um, that just works on um, improving conservation for albatrosses and a few large petrol species. So as I said, UK Overseas Territory is, um, has these in, in, incredible um, um, albatrosses breeding there. And at British Antarctic Survey, we have a research base on Bird Island at South Georgia. And it's there that we do lots of monitoring and tracking work and so on to try and understand the causes of decline. So what happens there is that field assistants go out and they mark the nests and they bring the adults and bring the chicks. And then by repeated visits to those same nests over time, they can um, see the, the determined breeding success by um, how the survival of the eggs from, from eggs through to hatching through to fledging. They can also um, recite the ringed birds because every bird in the breeding colonies has a unique ring. And from that, they can determine survival rates over time. They can compare survival of juveniles and adults. They can look at breeding frequency and they can look at um, ages or age of recruitment, so that I, that's the age that the chick first returns to breed. And from that, we can get an understanding of what's causing the long-term population declines, whether or not it's um, a problem with breeding success, which would suggest probably that there's a, an issue with food availability, potentially due to climatic change or some other factor. Or we can see that the problem is more to do with the reduced survival. And much of the time, um, populations of seabirds are decline is if they decline steeply it's because of high adult mortality and that frequently will have some kind of um, human cause and for many albatrosses that's by catching long line trawl and other fisheries and um, there will be major problems with invasive species and in a few islands with diseases. So I hope that's given you some idea of the problems that albatrosses face, and including many of the ones, the globally important populations in the UK overseas territories. And just to reiterate, there are issues with climate change, fisheries, invasive species, disease, and uh, other factors. And we really should all need to pool our resources. And World Albatross Day is an, an opportunity to think about the ways that every one of us can contribute um, to improving their conservation status. Thank you.